What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Europa League Gulam. Basically the SBC came out yesterday and he is a new live item into the mix as well as another, I believe he's a Czech uh, right mid. But we'll be doing a review on him after this one. But this one got caught my eye a little bit, mainly because 87 rated. He has got, he started at 81, he got an 82 Champions League and then he got an 84 in form. But we are currently in the Champions League, uh, the Europa League quarterfinals, which is meaning he can go quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals, giving him a plus three. And then I believe if they do win it all, they get a, an extra plus. Don't quote me on that. I said this in the last one, but I still haven't found out if you actually do get a plus one on winning it as well. Whether they can win it, who knows? They got Arsenal in the quarterfinals. It is a bit of a risk for this one for me. The SBC is expensive for the 87, but it's not expensive if they do make it through the quarters, get to an 88, and then potentially get to an 89 and 90. I think it's definitely worth the risk, as Napoli are not a team that are going to lie down and practically get destroyed. So we will find out how that goes on on this Thursday, and it will be the first leg of the quarterfinals. So we can see what we're expecting. I'm pretty sure. When is this SBC running out? Let's have a quick look at that. It's running out in six days. So for me, if you was um and ah and about this, I would potentially wait until that match has happened. And you'll see if Napoli do go ahead, then it gives you more chance to go get him. But it may make these players a little bit more expensive to go get. As obviously people will be trying to bump up that market, trying to complete him because they've got one step closer uh, for him to get to an 88. So going on to some basic information. Oh, actually, first we'll look at the SBC. In fact, all you'd need to put in is a 84 rated squad with four Serie A players and a Napoli player. And then you need to give up an 85 rated team with just two Serie A players. Both of them coming in at the region of around about 195k at the moment. Probably will drop down a little bit towards the end of the week to probably around about 160. I think 84s and 85s are a little bit high at the moment. So be wary on that. But you do get 80k worth of packs back, which is always nice. Again, they like that mega pack, prime gold players pack combo recently. So it's not bad packs. Personally, I think I got one in form from it, um, an 83. So I made 20 or so k back. But overall, it can be a little bit difficult to try and get one of them big walkouts to cover the cost of this one. So... Moving on to the basic information on Gulam, he's got a three-star skiller with a four-star weak foot. He is left-footed, standing at six foot tall, and he's got a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. So for that straight away, four-star weak foot is absolutely fantastic. Left-footed, good for the left side. Six foot, which is a really tall left back, to be honest. A lot of them are normally sitting around about the 5'9 to 5'10 mark. Um, and then the high attacking work rate and medium defensive, Sometimes that can have a little bit of an issue, especially seeing as though he doesn't have a huge amount of pace, but he does have 97 stamina, which is always fantastic to have on a left back. So moving into the stats then, the stat side of it, 93 crossing, which is fantastic, 87 short pass, 81 long pass, 85 curve. Really, really rate them stats on this card. 86 reactions, 87 ball control, 86 dribbling, and 81 composure. And he also has 90 shot power as well. For me, this card, before I move on to the defensive stats on this card, he reminds me more of kind of a, like a left mid rather than an actual left back. I find that his defensive stats aren't all that incredible yet. So I'll get on to the what's good and what's bad later on. But he just reminds me of a left mid. He's got the good crossing. He's got decent passing. Good on the ball in general. Ag agility is not great, but it gets by enough, especially seeing as though he is six foot as well. So he is quite a tall left back as well. So you have to be wary about that. Also, he only has 76 uh, strength and 79 aggression with 78 jumping. So not the greatest of jumping, but the six foot does help out, out on that. He then has 81 interceptions, which is about par, to be honest. 85 marking, 87 standing tackle, and 86 sliding tackle. So for me, this is screaming out for an anchor chem style. If not an anchor, definitely a shadow. If you put a shadow on him, it gets 95 pace and 92 defending. And if you put an anchor on him, he gets 88 pace, 93 defending, and 87 physical. For me, anchor is what this card is screaming out for. He really needs that push in the defense, as I'm finding it to be very average. Like I said, he seems to be more of a left mid with the high attacking work rate and more 
passing stats than defensive. He is screaming for this anchor. I feel like this card is unusable without the anchor. Just because the defensive needs to be higher. And with the anchor, uh, with the anchor on him, he gets 86 interceptions, which is a bit better. 85 head and accuracy, which will be joined up with the 88 jumping he gets. 95 marking, 97 standard tackle, and 96 slime tackle. That is much better on this card. So that is the chem style for me. So what is good, what is bad, kind of touched on it a little bit. But the pace for me is a bit average. With the anchor, it's, it's usable. It's still not masses quicker, but it's definitely usable in the sense. Defensive-wise, before the anchor... He does not defend very well. For me, there is so many left backs out there, and especially for the 160, under about 190 technically at the moment in time that you're putting on him, you can get so much better. You literally need to buy, what, 70k more, and you can get the future star Mendy, and he's probably one of the best left backs on this game at the moment. Obviously, you could go Carlos um, and then uh, Timoni and Marcelo if you was looking for the big bucks, but if you're looking for the budget, this card is not cutting it for me. But I say this, but the, the main thing about this card for me, and the one thing that you've always got to consider, especially after this first match, is he can go up. That is the difference with this card. If they beat Arsenal, more than likely they're going to kind of, I reckon they'll draw Chelsea, to be honest. It'll just be the look of it. If they do go through, he goes to an 88. That increases very, very nice stats. My Sterling, personally, looking at the Champions League, went from an 89 or 87, 88, whatever he was, to a 91. That was well, that that was an untradeable pack. But the SBC for it, that is something to look at. And in general, if you've already got, say, the Mkhitaryan, whoever wins, basically, you get an upgrade for. So for me, the left back definitely would be better. Uh, Mickey is really, really good, and it would have a great link to Aubameyang. But for me, this card has great potential. Like I said, the main thing for me is everyone to wait until Thursday. Wait until that match has happened, and then go and do it if he has won. If he hasn't won... I'd possibly wait till the final day till it's the cheapest out there and it's not really anything on the market for him and then go do it for the cheapest you can. But it's always that risk. And I think if you if this risk pays off, I think you've definitely come up coins. If it doesn't, then to be honest, I'd just whack him into an SBC. Um, he really isn't usable when it comes to being an actual left back. So what I'm going to do with this card is I'm going to, if they do go through... I might review their 88 and then go up like that and just go circle the Europa Leagues and the Champions Leagues just to see how different they are. I've only got a couple. I think I've got Mkhitaryan, um, Gulam now. I have that 85 right mid who I can't see going through. I also have Sterling as the Champions League. What I might do is go back and circle them and, and review them again once they go up as this card for me at this moment in time cannot play in a few... A foot well, foot champions um, team he really isn't incredible I think the only thing going for him is the fact that he's six foot so he's winning a lot of headers and the fact that he can actually pass and cross apart from that defensive wise I just felt him a little bit lackluster with the anchor it was a little bit better but obviously I'm waiting for that overall rating increase to definitely give this card that boost it needs so I can see the potential in it and I think you you uh, agree with me he has got the potential to go up, and they're not a team that necessarily are going to... I think it's a 50-50 a for me. Arsenal have not been playing great as of late, and I don't know about Napoli. I think they're they're normally top end of the, uh, top end of the league in the Serie A, so I'm not too sure this time, but they're going to have a good match. So whoever wins, I think if this card does go up, I think that's when really this card starts to make its value. So overall rating at this moment in time, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. One of the lowest I've done so far, but I just don't think he's usable. In this era of FIFA at the minute where we've got like cards, special cards coming out of our ears, you need to be better than this. So for me, 88, 89, 90 version of him, I think that'll be a different story. So we'll see from there. At the minute in time, I don't think he's usable, but... He could be one to hold on to and potentially go up in the future. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Let me know what you think about this card if you have done him. Or are you going to take my advice and wait till Thursday? And if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe for more content. We're doing play reviews and all sorts of SBCs. Team of the season is around a corner. We're going to be getting that hype going for that. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you did enjoy, just please make sure you smash that like button. The support... 
has absolutely been mental these past few days. Well, in fact, the past few weeks, 20 plus subscribers a day is, is incredible. I put a lot of work into this and I really enjoy doing these videos. And it's great to see the reception. All the comments are, are absolutely brilliant for feedback and I appreciate every single comment. I try and comment on every single one as quick as possible. So if you have commented down below and I haven't got back to you, just give it a few hours or maybe at work or asleep and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you again, subscribe, like, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.